Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page one of Enchanted Forest. Sorry, I had to think that through. Um, we're going to do some layering. So we're going to start by laying down this this mat, and this is um, from the 8x8 collection. And then we're going to place two cards on top of it. And I'll go over those measurements after we get this in. Hope everybody's doing well. We're getting a little break from the rain here for a few days, which is good. We In California, we get it so rare that when we get a whole bunch of rain, we really have to worry about um, landslides. Um, because the ground just, well, our topography is part of it. Um, but um, the ground is so dry um, that it's just running, running off and not really um, soaking in. So floods and landslides are kind of a challenge. Not, not in my uh, personal area, but up north in California. So it's nice we're getting a few days off from that. Hopefully that gives, although I have to say, um, our 101 freeway, which runs right along the western coast of California, is just a wreck right now. Mm -hmm. None of our trains are running because the bluffs are unstable. And I feel sorry for people that live in northern California, right there on the coast, because it's, um, it's a real mess. But it's been that way for, for a little while. Okay, so this is a, um, a card. Um, I chose this from the 12 by 12 collection and it's going to go over here and then this is going to be placed right here. Now this is an ephemera card much like this and I just cut the inside out and you can see this is kind of flying around and I'm going to leave it like that because once we put a photo inside you, you'd want to tack it down but I don't want to do that because it'll close uh, the pocket. So here I have a pocket and a photo mat, and then it is also a card. So what you're going to want to do is create your card, and the card is 12, score at 6. Then you're going to cut if you want to do the same thing, or you can just mount um, this ephemera card. And it's got uh, some journaling here. So you can just mount it, but if you want to cut it out and have it so that you can insert, what you're going to do is you're going to glue this um, ephemera card just on three sides, leave the top open. Okay, and I did all my cutting with pretty much um, uh an exacto knife just so you so you can kind of see it there and this is fussy cut from this off the 12 by 12 so I fussy cut that element out of the center of the frame and that's what the tab is the pull tab okay all right so let's go ahead and get this down and this one is eight and a quarter by six and one eight, eight and a quarter by six and one eight, they're gonna score at four and one eight. It's getting stuck a little bit because I put um, like three layers of cardstock underneath this to puff it up a little bit. So it's getting stuck right on that, but um, you can wiggle it down. You can also use foam tape if you want. I'm just not a huge fan of that. Okay, so let's figure out what we're gonna do here. So I think I kinda like this. Okay, that looks good. So I'm gonna glue the back of this down. And it's a half inch over. And an inch down, half inch from the right side and one inch from the top. And I'm just doing what looks pleasing, but I'm gonna give you the measurements. But you can shift it around until you're happy with it. Okay, now we're gonna apply this. 
And of course it's gonna look like that. So I like this peeking out a little bit over the top, so I'm gonna push it more that way. I'm gonna come in a half inch from the side, and this is, I'm just doing it based on this, but it turns out to be one and three quarter inches from the top, half inch from the side. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, now let's add some magnets. I'm going to place a magnet behind here, right about there. Magnet and tape. That's going to go about there. If you didn't decorate this already, you can place the magnet on the top side. Um, okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and burnish that into place. Okay, let's decorate the insides. Okay, now on here I have the option, I have two options. I can cover this with a border around it. Or I can cover this with a border around it and then do a, um, uh, basically a color block here. So I'm not sure what I want to do. Let me think about that for a second. I don't need this. I do like this like adding this back in. So I think I am gonna color block that part. So this is, again, from the 12 by 12, it's part of the lower half of this image. Let's ink it. Whoops. Got a little piece of the yellow I can use here. Uh, this is from the 8x8. Eight eight. You could use a 12x12, 12 12. it's just a tighter pattern. Okay, I'm going to color block that slightly. By the height. Oops, that's not. Huh. I miss. I miss the width. Let's do that again. Oh no, I did. Okay, our height's right. There we go. It doesn't look straight, so I'm going to test it one more time. Okay, let's see. 
Okay, looks good. Yeah, let's ink it. Now, when you put your photo in, you have the option of going this way or this way. Um, and this color block, I think would even look interesting Let me see if, I can find it. if you had a photo like this, right? So it's it gives you some options. You don't have to follow the block itself. You can, you can cut across it. I know some people have a hard time going over a seam, but I think it looks good. Um, I think it makes it interesting. Okay, now I've got a little more of this and I think I'm going to use it over here. Let me think about that. I definitely wanna bring the gold back in over here. So, yeah. So this is about three and a quarter. I like it. I'm looking through my scraps to see if there's something else I want to use. The, um, that's too matchy-matchy. Unfortunately, um, there is no other black pattern. It's this. It's, I need, like, a black stri black and cream stripe. Uh, that's Oh, actually, I do have this. I like it. Let me see. I've got these. Yeah, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this over here, and then I'm going to fill this spot in with it, too. So let's see. Maybe we start. No, I'm going to cut this first. I like it. It's coming on. Take a little more off, I think. Let's see. Let's see how it did. Sometimes it doesn't lay down quite right because of the magnet. It kind of puts a little bubble in it. So even though it's a simple page, you've got one, 
two, three, four, five. Room for six photos. If you count, or seven, if you count both sides of the the insert um, on the front. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and the flip side is seven. So it's kind of nice. Okay, I'm going to reintroduce that pattern over here. Wouldn't it have been awesome if that fit? <laughs> I'm going to have to cut into this. So I'm just, uh, because I want a straight visual line across, I'm going to make sure that this is the same height as the gold. Perfect. I know it's a little tedious when we do color blocking because I can't pre-trim. I can, but I'm never happy with the results. I think if you if you wait until you glue one of the pieces down and then uh, measure, you're going to always be happier with the result. slightly over two and a half, but it was really based on um, the width of this, which was a scrap. So whatever you think is visually pleasing. And of course you could have just done a solid piece there too. So again, I think that the color blocking makes uh, for an interesting photo mat um, versus just trying to make it fit on the color block. Okay, so there we go. I have another little fussy cut thing, so I'm trying to decide if I want to place it here. I think it's taking up too much real estate on, on this if you're going to put a full-size photo. Let's go ahead and add it here. I did a lot of fussy cutting in this, so that is really where a lot of the complexity is coming from, is fussy cutting, not necessarily the... Um, the uh, page or interactive elements. Although I am going to do some pop-up stuff. Um, but the, the flaps are going to be relatively simple. Yeah, I worry that it's going to interfere with anything I put here. It's a little bit too big. I'm going to go ahead and put it here. I think it looks lovely. I'm going to glue the bottom only so that we can slide a photo under it. And there we go. Yeah. So can you imagine, you know, if you had a photo here. Of course it would be smaller than this, but let's make sure that's down on the way. There we go. And again, I would tack that down on the photo um, once I have it. So here's our insert. I just left the back black. Um, it is five and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. So it's just under four by six. So you'd need to crop a little bit. And then I glued this directly to the panel because it, it needs to be the anchor to pull it up on. So you cannot slide your photo under that bar. But that's okay because when it's in here, you can't see it that edge of the photo anyway. But I think it's kind of neat that the once upon a time will go across the photo. So there we go. There's page one. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'll be back soon with page 